Hey everyone, welcome to another video. I'm Chris Rungi with Rungi Cars, and this is the Rungi RS. If you guys haven't seen in our build series on this car, we have pretty much started from the chassis, built out all the bodywork, done interior design and work, and now we're moving on to thermoforming headlight covers out of Perspex or plexiglass. And the way that I do that is by starting with an aluminum form and using that as the mold basically for the plexiglass. So let's get started. The first thing I'm gonna do is just make the uh, outline of the opening here. And that'll give me kind of a guide for how big my piece of aluminum needs to be. And I can just use my finger to get an idea of the parameter of this opening. All of this is going to be cut off in the end anyways. It's going to be excess on the plexi, but I just kind of like to have an overall smooth piece to start with. Now, right away, I'm going to trace a second one of these before I start putting any shape in this one. All right, so now it's time to uh, get an idea of the shape that we're going to put into this. And the primary shape is obviously going to uh, wrap around the, the fender, the headlight opening this way, but I do want to bring a little bit of, of shape down to flow into this lower corner of the nose. Um, so there'll be some shrinking through here And now, since I've shaped this oversized, I'm going to have to trim some off due to this reverse right here. Just a little bit through here. And do some through here. So the first thing I'm going to do is just uh, tuck in these, these side areas that need some shrinking. So we brought it down a little bit. It's gonna need some more. There, we're getting much closer. So now I'm gonna go ahead and wheel out the middle and uh, get that uh, crown to blend. I get to use one of my new anvils from my friend Roger Lund over in Sweden. Did a beautiful job of forging these. Thank you, Roger. It's like the ultimate Christmas present. And the first passes that I'm doing, I'm coming right up to the edge of where my uh, shrinking took place. And then I'll blend that all in and wash it over after several more passes. I originally 
did this thermoforming at the old shop over my wood stove. I didn't have an oven. So I would make these forms, stoke the fire, and <laughs> sit there and watch it slowly take shape. Uh, since then, some friends who owned uh, Subway restaurants gave me one of their old baking uh, bread ovens, and that works perfect for this sort of thing. All right, now I'm just cross-wheeling this with a uh, more mellow radius, and that's gonna kind of wash it out, smooth it out, and put it into what should be close to our final form. We'll have to go check it a couple more times, but we're on our way there. I've just got a light pressure on this, not, not much at all, just to bump it into a smooth form. So I'm really not putting shape in it much at all. I'm just uh, smoothing it out, washing over it. So that's looking pretty good. We can go ahead and, and check the fitment on that. I know we're gonna need to give it a little bit of shape that way. Very close. You can just about bring that in just uh, by hand here. That always looks so cool with no headlights. Ghostly. And when you do this, you bend one area and the material has to go somewhere. So another area might jump out. Um, and it did a little bit there, not too bad. Very close, I can back this off a little bit. Yeah, we're looking really good there. So I got the first uh, form made for the plexiglass, but I'm gonna need a second one to sandwich it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just make a match to this using the same method that I did to make this one. All right, so I have my second one made here. I know people are gonna ask how long it took to make the second one. It was about half the time as the first one. Um, so that's all feeling really good around the outside. Again, our actual lens is gonna be about an inch inside this hole uh, parameter um, so we're not too worried about you know what these rough edges and and what's going on out here we really want a smooth surface in here for our plexiglass to form against uh, so now we can cut some plexi and start the thermoforming process so i'm going to trace this out go ahead and cut this outside because it makes a mess The next thing that we do is uh, peel off the protective coating. Got to get the oven warming up here. And, uh, and then we'll sandwich these together. And actually what I'm going to do, I'm going to start with just heating this up alone and let it fall over um, the male form. And then we'll drop the female form on top. Put that on. I have my temp set already. So grab a cup of coffee while that warms up. Okay. Try to do this quickly. Stop that from rolling. 
rotating. Now, just like metal, it's going to want to uh, kind of ripple and potato chip uh, because we're not really stretch, stretching the material yet. We're just letting it droop down and over. Snag it out of there. Get that put on right away and we're gonna clamp it. All right, got it clamped. You can see I just use the spring clamps. It's still soft and pliable. I'm just going to let her go for a few more minutes, probably about five to seven minutes. We're probably very close to where we need to be. That is toasty. And now before it cools down too much, I want to pop it out of there and get a look at it. So that looks pretty good. Let's take it over on the car and check it out. Uh, you can kind of lay it in and it, it wants to sit in a certain uh, position. And now I'll come through and I'll, I'll just mark the opening with a marker and I'll trim that off very carefully and slowly get it to fit that opening. And then I'll make my mounting tabs and we'll uh, mount it. One step closer. So now I'm just going to go little by little trimming and shaving off until the lens sits right inside of this opening. All right, so I have my first mounting tab uh, in place here and I'm just going to check the fit of the lens with the tab and check for my alignment and then I can go ahead and carefully drill the next hole here in the plexi. Okay.
come down just a little bit. So I've gone through the same process to form the passenger side headlight cover and then finished it off by sanding the outer parameter and polishing the inside and outside of the lens. So that does it for this episode on the RS build. In our next episode, I think we're about ready to fire this thing up and get some shakedown miles on it. So you guys won't want to miss that. Uh, if you haven't, please hit the subscribe button, share the videos. It helps out a ton. And thank you for watching.